Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to work on uh, how to import a drawing from a PDF uh, file into a Civil 3D. You got to remember, uh, some of the PDF, if they're old or they were scanned, you might not be able to. And the best one is the one that is basically a PDF is made from the uh, AutoCAD or a Civil 3D drawing. We're going to do about three, four example, and we're going to talk, uh, uh, go through a bunch of stuff. And we're going to look at how we can use a detail on a PDF and import it to a Civil 3D and then rework it or edit it or, or change it the way for the way we would like. So go to your Civil 3D and from there, uh, just go ahead, uh, click on anywhere and type in PDF. Once you do that, a uh, command comes up and you can go ahead and select one of these, which will be PDF import. And when you click that down window bottom, you can see the select PDF from underlay. We talked about that in a minute. But let's go to the file. So click on a file. And a uh, file comes up, and uh, you can select a PDF folder. In this case, I'm going to use this one here. And click open. And because this is like I have uh, this folder just opened has 129 pages. So now you can select the page that you want to go ahead and uh, import. Um, let me see if I can find a page we can import. How about this one? This one, this one looks good. And then you can go over to the right, and these are setting that it tell you what data you want to import into your Civil 3D. One of the most important, first of all, I'm going to hit specify uh, insertion point on the screen. I'll click that one. And then you go to the scale. When we come back to this one because I will do a drawing that has a scale either to, uh, 1 to 2140. You can select that. And here they say we're going to use the PDF scale of one and a half. Just leave it as one to one for now. And um, going down to the next setting is PDF data to import. If you're going to have the vector geometry, you want to click that. Solid fills, you want to click that. Uh, through type text, yes. Raster image, I, uh, I don't think in that drawing we have any images, so we don't have to. Uh, unless you have an image there and you want to bring it in. Um, then uh, you can use the user uh, PDF layer or you can select create a new layer or a current layer. Then the import, uh, import a po uh, option down bottom here. You don't want to do everything as, a, as a, the, the, the uh, geometry of it to be imported as a block. So I leave the one blank. And join line and uh, segment, you want to get those because it, it, it makes the polygon show up a lot better. And I basically select all of them. Um, and uh, you want to know the uh, civil to do to distinguish your t type of line. So interfere uh, in fair line type. So select that one too. Once all you have that, uh, click OK. And because we have selected uh, a scale, we're going to click anywhere. And it uh, takes a while for it to upload. Um, All right, it took uh, about uh, close to 20 seconds for it to upload. And here is your drawing right there. If you look at your text, some of the text might be coming as a geometry or as a, um, a really text. We'll find out in here which one it is. If I click on it, I can, yeah, that says a geometry, so I can't do nothing. And um, you can actually go ahead and go back here and erase these and put your own text into it. But if you look at the... Um, these are like a polyline right there, so you can make a change if you wanted to. All right, let's let's do another one. So I'm gonna go uh, go up here and make a new, uh, and we're gonna say yeah, let's select a civil 3D imperial, and there we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start uh, another one PDF, and I'm gonna hit import. Um, from file, there it is. I gotta change my file. So I'm gonna select uh, this file, this PDF file, and let's open it up. And this one has about 18 sheets, and then we're gonna select this one right there. And um, bring that up over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and select this one, which is, uh, uh, and if you take a look at the, uh, the scale of it, 
and bring it up here. Um, and you can see this sc uh, the scale is one uh, inch is equal to 20 feet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the scale right here to um, 20. And we're gonna keep the same thing that we had before. Um, and click OK. I'm going to go ahead right here and hit click it and uh, it's going to take about uh, probably a 20-30 second for it to upload. And there's our drawing that we imported and everything, all the polyline came through. Let's check out the text, see how the text came out through. Um, So you can see the text actually came out as a, a real text. So you can go ahead and double click on it and you can go ahead and edit the text. So that's a PR road road. I'm just going to make it, uh, uh, just type and make it a DA. I don't know. And so you can go ahead and make changes. And let's do another example again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, new project, new and imperial. Yep, open up. Now if you want to go ahead and import a, a, a special detail and then uh, copy it to your own civil 3D and edit it, that's what we're going to go do next. I will go ahead and uh, uh, type in PDF again. And then from there go ahead and click uh, PDF Attached. And uh, there it is. Select your file and click open. Once you have that, then you come up with this window. It has a different type of setting. And uh, you can go ahead and go to use the relative path. Of course, if you click this drop down menu, you can have the, either the no path or full path. So we're going to stay with the way the uh, uh, option we had before. And specify the uh, uh, on screen. Just go with a 1.0 is fine. And uh, you want to you make sure this is checked. Specify the, uh, the uh, insertion point and um, rotation just let that be and then you go ahead and select your uh, again this PDF that we attach is multi-page so pick the page that you like to take the detail I'm gonna click on this one right there number four and click OK and you go anywhere in the screen click or hit enter it should uh, come in there it is and let's make it bigger so now we have this, and we like to take, say, this and one of these details and uh, import it and, and modify it or edit it. So what we're going to do is um, type in PDF again while you're here and hit in PDF uh, import. And there's a select underlay. And go ahead and move your, you see the square on your screen, move it around until it lights up. Once it lights up, you click on it. And then, then you can select the shape you want. I'm going to select this first one. And click on that one. And click enter or hit the your mouse button. You get a new window and it says, do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep it? Do you want to deattach? you want to unload? So we're going to say deattach it. And what it did, it took it away and brought it in, and there, there it is. And now you have this detail, and you can basically work with it. And modify it to your own need, and just uh, do whatever you want. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and import the old PDF, uh, which was uh, scanned, and see how that will work out. So I'm going to go in here, click uh, New File. All right, and type in PDF import again. Click File, and I'm going to select this one right here. And just go with just the regular setup and click select the number five in here. I'm going to do just side project. Uh, click OK and hit Enter. 
and this is what you're going to get and you don't have any polyline right here basically I copied it and brought it over and there's not much you can do with this I hope this was useful and if it was please give it a thumbs up